Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for April 10th. I apologize again for missing um, several days this week. I've been working a lot and been exhausted. So even though like, I would open in the morning and not have time to do um, the quiet time. Then when I got home, I was so exhausted, I just didn't do anything. So here I am back at it trying to <laughs> make amends, I guess you can say. Um, today's devotion is titled Finding Joy in Praise, and the Bible reading is from Habakkuk, chapter 3, verses 6 and 16 to 19. All right. He stood and shook the earth. He looked and made the nations tremble. The ancient mountains crumbled and the age old hills collapsed, but he marches on forever. I heard and my heart pounded. My lips quivered at the sound. Decay crept into my bones and my legs trembled. Yet I will wait patiently for the day of calamity to come on the nation invading us. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails, and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen, and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior. The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to tread on the heights for the director of music on my stringed instruments. When the famous British writer C.S. Lewis first gave his life to Jesus, he initially resisted praising God. In fact, he called it a stumbling block. His struggle was in the suggestion that God himself demanded it. Yet Lewis finally realized it is in the process of being worshipped that God communicates his presence to his people. Then we, in perfect love with God, find joy in him no matter, no, find joy in him no more separable than the brightness a mirror receives from the brightness it sheds. The prophet Habakkuk arrived at this conclusion centuries earlier. <clears throat> After complaining to God about evils aimed at the people of Judah, Habakkuk came to see that praising him leads to joy, not in what God does, but in who he is. Thus, even in a national or world crisis, God is still great. As the prophet declared, though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and the cattle and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will real <laughs> yet I will rejoice in the Lord. It will be joyful in God my Savior, he added. As C. S. Lewis realized, the whole world rings with praise. Habakkuk likewise surrendered to praising God always, finding rich joy in the one who marches on forever. When you praise God, what's the impact on your spirit? Reflecting on God's goodness, name three things you can praise him for today. Thank you for joining me for today's devotion and I hope you all have a wonderful day.